Hi there! In this lesson, we will take a look at the Bill of Quantity module. And so click on this button in order to enter in its environment. Now on this workspace, we can see there is a Bill of Quantity table here on the left, and the two windows on the right will show us our model. So in order to estimate any object in our model, we just need to select it and then click on this button in order to open the price list. And select the correct document. And from this list, we will choose the object selected before. Then pick up this object and drag and dropping over this button. From this window we can select or even create new category or possibly groups. This pop-up editor allows us to prepare formulas by typing a description, like in this case, and maybe adding some more details, like for example, any variables from this list. Then in the length and width field, we can insert our dimension. This means that specific object related measurements data is acquired directly from the object itself, and so without needing to insert data manually. We can also choose among different cost estimating methods. So for example, we can click on the white sheet button and choose the type of measurements method we want to use. For example, the wall surface without void, and so we will subtract any empty space. Then by clicking the finish button, we will apply this cost estimating method to the selected object. We can proceed object by object, but also for the entire categories of object in our project. And so I will use the filter function available from the right menu. From here I can select an object searching for some characteristic in this filter. After we've defined this criteria, we can apply the filter, and so all the objects with the same characteristics will be selected in our model. And then, just by clicking this button, we will apply the estimate method we chose before to all the selected objects. Of course, I can apply again the same procedures to the other floors of my building just by changing the selection criteria in the filter function. Then again, apply in the same way as seen before, we can obtain the estimating cost of the walls of this floor. So, now let's apply the same procedures to estimate the interior plaster. So I will select this room, open our price list and check among the various items. Then drag it to the add button, Define the categories. And now see the other cost estimating method. For example, in this case, I want to use the wall surface without tiles. I can also add another row, in which I can estimate also the sailing plaster. Again, for a set of objects, we can proceed as follows. We will select the wall floor, then open the rooms box from the right panel, and select all the present entities. Of course, we can do the same procedures for all the other floors. Now, let's estimate the windows of our building. So, open the filter function. Select the Windows object from this box. And create a new category. Choose the estimating method. Then 
and click finish. In the same way I want to also estimate the doors. Now let's have a look at the railing object, for which we can apply a slightly different procedure. So select this railing here, open the price list, and search the relative items. Create a new category and click OK. Again, in the editor, I will insert that description. And here I want to use the length property. But as you can see here, our price list has defined the item with a different property. And so here I will add a new variable. Now that my calculation is ready, I can apply this method to the object. Now here, for this example, I want to insert 20 kilos per meter. And with a multiple selection, I will apply this method to all the railings of my building. The procedures for the cost estimating can be also applied to the terrain environment. So I will select the terrain object, then open the price list, and select the item we want to apply to the terrain. For example, I want to estimate all the earthwork in my building site. So drag and drop it, and create a new category. In the editor I will add a description and a variable related to the earthwork in my terrain. For example, in this case, the excavation volume. So with just few steps, we have acquired all the relevant data to acquire measurements and assign cost data to our building. Now the cost estimated of our building is completed. But let's suppose we want to add or delete something to the building itself. In this case, we don't need to go back to the architectural modules, as we can make some editing directly from here. And as we are working on a dynamic environment, all the drawings are going to adapt instantaneously to the new condition. Now, for the sake of this example, I will insert a new Windows here. Then I can directly use an existing Windows computation by choosing this one, for example. and then assign it to a category by right mouse clicking over the new object. Now, as you can see here, there is also an updated code for this object that show us the super category, the category and the subcategories. Same as for all the items already estimated. Also here, we can see the total cost for each supercategory, category and subcategories. But now let's have a quick look at the previous integration. In this window we can see our bill of quantity already completed before. And all these items are not modifiable from here. But we can modify some general data and categories from this menu here. A very useful procedure from this environment will allow us to integrate this bill of quantity with some item that we can import from other bill of quantities. So for example, by clicking this button, 
I will open another document and then with a simple drag and drop I will bring this item to my new bill of quantity. Then close the windows and save. And you can see here the new item, 